Hello, dear friends. How are you doing? I'm so excited and really happy every single time when I come here and I can hang out with you. So today it's our weekly training uh, and I was thinking a lot. So what should we talk about? But the truth is that we know very well it's practically uh, it's Valentine's Day. It's almost there in the corner. We have uh, only a couple of weeks. I know that we started talking about Valentine's Day about uh, two weeks ago when we, uh, in the beginning of January, but now uh, it's time to again keep talking, talking, and then we'll be, be talking uh, in a couple of weeks about uh, Mardi Gras and all the pictures and everything else, you name it. Okay, so I'm going to give a couple of minutes uh, so I know that a lot of people were going to join us. How is Susan? So nice to see you there. Hello, hello. Uh, and so the idea is how do you, dear friends, come up with a team uh, of, uh, for pictures? You know, it doesn't matter. Is it going to be Valentine? Is it going to be Mardi Gras? Or maybe then it's going to be St. Patrick's then and spring and Easter or Passover. Uh, just we always need to think uh, I would say at least a month, two months, if you're a clothing designer, you actually even need to think about, I would say four or five months ahead in the game. Hi, Leanne, so nice to see you there. I was looking at the mastermind, uh, the membership group today with your, your beautiful pictures with the winter you posted the other day. They're so beautiful. Hi, Susan, so nice to see you. Hello, uh, sweetie. Hi, hi there, hi there. So the question is every single time, when you want to take pictures, it's first to start with a question. Hi, Christy, so nice to see you. Tell me if you want to jump in Zoom. Uh, I don't know if you, okay, okay, hold on, dear friends. Mary Ellen and Christy are coming. Just for those of you who don't know, Christy and Mary Ellen are my two amazing ladies. Uh, they are admins and they're helping me to run this uh, group smoothly. Uh, and so every single time when you see Vasi, it's like you and see, see Mary Ellen or Christy, it's the same. You know, they go to all of my trainings. We mentor each other and it's just a lot of fun. Uh, so hi to my awesome ladies. So ladies, what do you think uh, to talk about Valentine's Day? Hello, hello. I'm so glad to see you. I missed you for a few days here. How it's everyone? Good. <clears throat> Good. Okay, Mary Ellen, how are you doing? Are you uh, finishing your Valentine's orders? She's probably, I'm sure you see me. Uh, so for those of you who don't know Mary Ellen, she's a wonderful clothing designer. And oh, thank you. I'm sorry? I said, oh, thank you. Yeah, where you are. I mean, people, they don't know what happened behind the scenes, but every, like I was looking at the outfit you sent us to see yesterday. Uh, yeah. And they're just gorgeous, you know. Uh, and then Christy, it's uh, amazing. You know, Christy, it's our pet influencer and uh, Instagram queen. <laughs> so I'm very fortunate uh, to have you ladies on. So I felt very passionate today to talk about the Valentines. Uh, and you can tell me from a perspective of a designer and from a perspective uh, of, you know, a pet influencer, how both of you get ready. So who wants to start first? Go ahead, uh, how do I get ready for it? Yep. Uh, I start sewing. <laughs> <laughs> but I spend I spend the whole year uh, looking at fabrics and uh, viewing fabrics. There's a lot of people that uh, will uh, put their fabrics for a season or something on sale. And it may be in August that they're putting their Valentine stuff on sale because they're just trying to get rid of it for the new stuff. And they're gorgeous. And so I buy them at a discount price and I start sewing. And then uh, come January, um, generally right after the first, I start selling. Um, and I put my dresses all up uh, online for uh, everybody to be able to see. And I have gone this year to doing one of a kinds only. Wow. Um, I've had incredible amount of interest in that. And um, it makes them worth more. And people just really enjoy saying 
this is a one of a kind that I have on my puppy, you know? Yeah. And uh, so I have to do a lot of sewing with a lot of fabrics. And I'm currently making a vest for a little boy um, with some fabric that I bought two years ago. Wow. And I still have it and it's gorgeous. And it's going to let him stand out because nobody's got it right now. So <clears throat> that's amazing. Well, thank you so much for sharing. It's so uh, actually great to hear because honestly, <laughs> dear friends, uh, I like typically for the holidays uh, when I have like, like to me, like, you know, uh, Christmas and Hanukkah, the biggest holidays when at least for my lo local clients, I get ready to take pictures. And I start my search very, uh, like I start my search like four to five months, um, uh, you know, prior. I mean, nowadays I'm more efficient so I can, you know, I know from where what to get and etc. But coming up with something very unique and different, including for you with your pictures, it does take dedication. You know, the easiest way, it's like for Mary Ellen, just take, you know, get the material, whatever they had, you know, create a model, replicate it, which is nothing wrong with that. Uh, or the same like you going to take pictures versus you actually investing the time and you don't need to do it every single day, but at least do it once and get it right. Take a few different angles for your pictures of your beautiful outfit, you know, create few like tweak. Everything it's about tweaking, taking pictures, changing, taking pictures, changing, creating beautiful outfits. So mm -hmm. right there in the chat, if you agree with me, thank you so much, Mary Ellen. I hope that Eventually, you'll be able to, you know, uh, post a couple. I personally would love, uh, you know, to see them. Uh, but I know sometimes people, including my clients, I like I have stunning pictures because now I'm working on the Lightroom class. And I'm like, my God, I want to show them to my students. I want to show you to their friends, and, but I don't have print release. So we know how, how it's the game. So thank you so much. Uh, and how about you, Christy? How do you get ready for uh, Valentine's? <laughs> Um, I think we're, we're probably about the same. I mean, depending on the brand you're working for, um, like Ferdrobe just um, announced there's a couple of weeks ago um, for their bows. So we usually get our bows right before that time, but we are always um, showing them, <clears throat> sorry, we're always showing them off. You know, Rachel shows them and we, you know, we show them off to our friends and family and <clears throat> but yeah, we start off probably a month before that and just get ready. What backgrounds are we going to use? Um, you know, what, what are we going to do? You know, cause some people like props, other people don't. Um, yeah. so you just kind of have to start probably a month early, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. I, it's not with me. It's not just fabric. It is backgrounds and props and because people will buy a dress, you know, on the uh, on the picture. They buy the dress on the picture. And mm -hmm. so you have to make that picture perfect. So yeah. 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 I bought my Valentine's. I bought my Valentine's background in November, I think. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, I did not buy a Valentine background. I have a lot of colors, but um, yeah, we do have to kind of get ready for that. I think that I typically look at what I'm buying first and then I figure out what background I want to use and everybody's different. I mean, you might yes. figure out the background you want and then the color you want to use, but I'm kind of the opposite of that. I want to know what she's going to wear and then I want to figure out the background. Yeah, that's an interesting yeah. mm -hmm. Uh, for sure. And then, you know, friends, we need to also think of it for Valentine's Day, you have a few colors, uh, unless again, you decide to create your own trends. So you're going to be white, pink, different shades of pink, uh, and also red. And of course, you can go with hot pink as well. So those are going to be your primary colors. So you have to yeah, decide. Lavender as well. Yeah, lavender, it's a good color for sure. I mean, you can you can do whatever you like. Uh, 
and just to again when we take pictures of our baby we try to express ourselves but we also trying to capture the personality of our furry baby or babies because some of you have multiple you know some of you have doggies different sizes and kitty cats you name it like uh, the client today i was photographing they had like a little doggy and they had uh, the hairless kitty cat <laughs> so you know i gave you some ideas yeah, I know. I had did photograph in my career the hairless cat, so it was very interesting experience of touching it. <laughs> and then yeah, him and I, we, so yeah, uh, yeah. So him and I, we had a little chat about uh, how you feel when you touch hairless kitty cat. But anyway, yes. uh, it's interesting, <laughs> very interesting. And I remember I actually had to develop specific editing uh, techniques to be able to edit. Uh, you know, hairless kitty cat, and the same, of course, apply for doggy too. But anyway, so the idea is you just have to come up with your team, and then you have to decide to take the pictures uh, and just, uh, you know. So what I'm hearing, yes, ladies. Mm -hmm. I have a <laughs> That's a cute. That's adorable. Yeah, that's that's really cute. Well, that would we go really nice with light uh, pink. Will go really yes, nice with uh, white as well. I probably yes. would either uh, leave it the way it is, or maybe I can get some cardboard and really uh, cut um, some hearts. Would be really nice if you maybe add even the initials of your furry baby. And that's up to you if you'd like also to add the ear, or maybe what you can do, you can have the heart two sided. So one side you write the name. And the other side, when you turn it, you can write the ear as well. So you can have a little mark. Because believe me, when you look at your pictures in five years from now, and you're going to see the Valentine's pictures, and then I'm like, which year was? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh -huh. uh, but you can definitely do it. And then it's easy when you have um, those cards. You can either prep them or you can use uh, either like maybe like a safety pin or double tape. You know, double sided tape just to put it in the background or the outfit just be aware that every time when you add when you uh, touch a background you can uh, depending on the surface of the background you can actually peel off the paint which did happen to me a lot of times <laughs> in my career and then you spend time to edit this in photoshop and i hated that so but oh anyway. dear I know what I know. I'm joking that my problems are very different than other people's problems. So right there in the chat, friends, whatever questions you may have, I just wanted to also jump here in Pinterest. This is a place where I personally uh, come very often uh, to uh, get inspired because I don't know about you, but all of us as an artist, we kind of get stuck sometimes. Uh, and we want, so the idea is for your pictures when people were scrolling down on Instagram or Facebook or Pinterest, YouTube, you name it. And that's what, you know, you just have to pick one to two platforms and try to be active there. But, you know, you want to stand out. And so very often, I never will forget, I watched this uh, uh, TikTok uh, video that the lady she bought from one dollar store towels and she made it to actually uh, to a pillowcase which yep. I thought is really awesome and then it's very simple you can have your baby in front of it you know you can be using tablecloths not only for your pet to be stepping on but also as your background uh, you know green green would like would, it would be really nice and amazing you know, this is also a great idea. You know, you can have just like a little, you know, wood or flowers and just cut some uh, hearts. You can find them from one dollar store, different like hearts, uh, which already, you know, you can um, peel them off and you can put them somewhere. So you can be as creative as possible. And you can either have your baby like off center or you can have your baby like uh, in the middle. So it's completely up to you composition wise, how would you like to build your picture? But even, I mean, even this, I know, have it behind your furry kids. I mean, those are really nice here. Yeah, that's really nice. Right? Yeah, and it's easy. You just take paper and you just, you know, uh, just fold it. I mean, it's, and you don't need to invest a lot of money. You can just be creative and use what you have at home. You know, and sometimes I don't know how you feel, but I actually challenge myself and tell myself, okay, I'm going to spend $10. This is my budget. I'm not going to spend any more 
you know, when it's regarding pet pics and what, what I teach. And believe me, for five to ten dollars, you can get so much. Of course, safety nowadays comes first. But what do you think, ladies? Yep, I think Absolutely. it's a good idea. I love, um, I love the dollar store. I haven't been in a dollar store for a year now. No, I haven't been in any store for a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that it comes first, but it's just, uh, you know, you just have to, again, the point is that you can be creative friends, you know, even like, even if you cannot go to the store, you can still go, um, you can order something, I yeah, guess, from Amazon right? or from Etsy or yeah. you name it. And actually, I was even thinking when Mary Ellen showed us those beautiful clothing, uh, you can practically get material. You know, and you can use this as your background. You can. Oh, use yeah, I do too. that. I do that. <laughs> Smart lady. I use some of my fabrics as a background. Yeah, yeah. that's that's I have amazing. Too. Yes, definitely. I have I've used material for backgrounds and um, yeah, it's kind of nice, actually. It's free. <laughs> it's exactly. It is free. And I actually now talking to you. Uh, I remember a while back, I was photographing uh, uh, two doggies, uh, and then what I did, I took, I got paper from, uh, I think it was Michael's, and I cut the hearts, I took like my wedding band and the rings, and I put them in a little box, and it was like the boy he was proposing to the girl, um, and, and it was so cute. And then I did with like I used like uh, flowers for like one dollar, so it was um, like uh, I, I could probably can even find it until we are talking now to show them to you because uh, they came up really like really beautiful. You know, you have to be creative. Let me just see here. Well, that was a good creation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I always think, like, in the, I think, what do I have? And for real, mm -hmm. like, uh, like sometimes I even borrow. Like, sometimes my friends, actually, my neighbors may decorate. So, and, you know, like, in the safaris, I go so often. They know anyway I'm a crazy neighbor, so uh, <laughs> they like me, so they don't mind. So I will go and maybe, like, change the angle and use it or just ask them nicely uh and you know that's how you know you that's how i roll it i mean it's important you know so you can be yeah, creative do what you do yeah exactly you don't need to necessarily go and spend you can if you like to but you yeah don't need it sometimes you know that's i really feel like the dollar store is the best place to go for stuff like mm -hmm. um maybe not backgrounds but like um all kinds of props and the props yeah decorations and stuff Exactly. We're very seasonal when it comes to, to oh, yeah. uh, uh, different things. And yeah, there's a lot of things you can use as props. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you have, you, if you order from them, you have to buy quantities of whatever. But um, <laughs> if you have friends who do the same thing you do, you can give it to them or give it to your friends anyway. They're, everybody's doing Valentine's Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know, and just share it with everybody, not I, I was going to get a, a sign at Christmas time for one of my friends and she loves to go camping and it was so cute and I tried to get it on their website. Well, I had to buy 36 yeah. in order to get one. Oh my <laughs> God, how are you kidding me? This and I don't crazy. have 36 friends to give it to. Yeah, yeah, you do have to buy a case if you order yeah. uh, online with, with the, the dollar store. Yeah. Wow. wow, that's that's but amazing. There are other things you could use them for if it's proper. Um, like you could make a wreath out yeah. of a bunch of them and put them on your front door. Yeah. Or you could make table decorations with the rest of them. You know, it doesn't have to be just for the picture. Right. right. Exactly. Exactly. I do agree. You can even get an out. Uh, you can probably even get like the candies in the shape of hearts. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. You know, double function. I don't know about you. You know, I love sweet and coffee. So I would yeah. use it for pictures. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. This is really hilarious. Oh, I'm looking here, but unfortunately, I cannot find those Valentine's pictures. You know, who knows where they are. But, you know, I hope, you, uh, dear friends, you understand. So, so this is, I mean, like, so you can, uh, oh, actually, I have here one uh, from um uh, this is one from last year hold on let me just share it with my screen this is when i went uh, to gg pet store 
uh, here in my area, I was teaching a live class and that's actually from there. Look at this. And so oh. she had the cobble, the, you know, the tablecloth with little hearts. She had the sign, oh. this was, was a toy here. Uh, and then she had to those big hearts and the little sign. And then I just felt that it needs a little more. Nowadays, with the new, because I believe that always an artist would keep changing, I probably would do it slightly different. But apparently a year ago, I added to this here in Canva and I added to the, the little red, you know, a line. Very cute. Yeah, it's adorable. It's adorable. adorable. Yes. You know, and there was kind of dark in the area where I was teaching. So I was using a different light and you can even see it. So just, and you can, and this practically was on a table with, with, to the, next to the wall and just tablecloth and a couple of, you know, big hearts and small hearts. So yeah. you tell me that that's adorable. Not it is adorable. It is adorable. I love it. <laughs> That, I know I, I do agree it's really it's really great so but you know what I actually was thinking now maybe what I can do friends uh, like I was thinking maybe I can just create like a little short valentine mini mini class with just a video and a couple of ideas uh, mm -hmm. for like a free class so I'm going to share it with you in the next few days like yeah. a little oh. chichi for valentine uh, oh, so there you go yeah, so girls, keep me accountable to get it done in the next couple of days and post the link for whoever wants to get inspired. So please, you know, be on top of me because I'm creating now the Lightroom class and it's taking a lot of time and effort, uh, which is wonderful. I'm very excited. Yeah, so. that's going to be a good class. I know, I know. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, of course. Uh, and then what, because also some of you have been asking me, so Vasi, what the Lightroom class is going to be? Uh, so a lot of times, let me just see, I can show you here. Okay. So a lot of people ask me, Vasi, why, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but Leanne, she's so cute. She says, I need all the help we can provide. Well, now you're part of the membership. You already went through the social media class. I know that you're interested of getting us to the Lightroom class. So you're going to get a lot of help. And we have the girls here as well. So yeah. it's uh, Lightroom is good. I know. <laughs> now, well, Lightroom, it's amazing. It yeah, it's it, amazing. It's, it's it is awesome. amazing. It's just complicated, uh, you know. Uh, I used well, to do some of it, but not much. How yeah. cute. Um, Correct. It's very cute. So, I mean, I made this uh, picture darker. Did I? I think I turned off my air. Okay. Oh, I know what it you is. I deleted off. it. I know. I know it's uh, but so the bottom line of what Lightroom does, it's that let me see, I just deleted a lot of pictures, but what Lightroom does, you can get, like, you import the pictures and then you can take a bunch of them. Let me just see where I have here. And you can get a bunch of them and you can just simply change them. That's what it is with one yeah, click. Yes. That's and then true. what I also like about it, let me just see here. I'm just trying to find, okay. Like, let's say this one here. So what I like about it, that if I want, I can export the picture and with a couple of clicks, I can add my logo. I can export it high resolution, web resolution. I can crop but so there is so much you can do and this is how this is my workflow this is how i, I work I, I use lightroom for everything and and lightroom what i also like about it is that um i am going to be teaching the computer because it's very easy on the computer the phone version i tried it but it was so annoying and time consuming and i'm like oh no it's just yeah, too much like work it. you know so for phone if friends you want to do like uh, for fun just use the regular apps uh you you can use lightroom i don't mind showing it as well whoever decides to participate in the class but it's just it's it's annoying at least for me it is because now with with the computer i sync them and i can darken certain area and brighten other areas and you can clean also pretty good uh around the eyes of the pets so lightroom has a lot of things even photographers they don't know how to use it but i'm going to teach you my tricks um and it's going to start next week on tuesday and so practically it's going to be tuesdays and thursdays 
uh, at 5 p.m. Eastern time, uh, which is 2, uh, 2 p.m. Pacific time. And for those of you who cannot come, the replays are going to be available. So it's three weeks class, one uh, hour each time, uh, and it's hands-on. So I'm going to do it live. So this way you can ask me the questions. And for those of you who cannot participate, uh, it's going to be easy because we can just, I can just show you whatever you need to know. So I know you girls are very excited about this as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Yeah. Oh my God, awesome, I know. I know, I'm, I, I think I should be done by tomorrow with everything. So then dear friends, I'm going to share the link for you. Uh, but anyway, so before we are done, because we need to jump in the membership uh, group, any questions, dear friends? Um, so I want to just summarize very quick uh, about um, the, the strategy. So come up with the idea. Don't wait till the last minute. Try to decide what type of background are you going to use. You can get nice materials. Uh, or you can just get the background. You can use a neutral plain color like pink, white, red, you know, uh, dark red, purple. Just that's up to you. Be creative. You can use uh, different accessories. If you're planning to, uh, you know, have a, get an outfit for your furry kit, try to reach out to the designers like Mary Ellen. We have amazing other designers in the group as well. People with yeah. pet stores. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so reach out to these awesome people in advance. Don't wait till the last minute because it, it's custom and does require time to be made the site. And then also shipping nowadays, it's uh, slower. Uh, and also for people like uh, Christy who wants to go to social media, help other brands, just make sure that you um, do also everything early. Uh, and I would say about a month earlier, you can start taking yeah. pictures, right? Yes. Okay. And Absolutely. that's what you need. I think doing it early is a good idea anyway, anytime, because that way you have pictures for a few days if you need them. Or, yes. you know, I try to do it every day, but I don't always get to post a photo every day. But um, yeah, this doesn't work all the time. And Lily's getting older. She doesn't want to do it every day. Well, she's a professional model. Like yes, she is. Mother. Birthday is tomorrow. Yes. It's going to be eleven. Happy birthday, Lily! Well, Thank listen, you. you can you can take a picture, post it, even if it's like a little short video, you know. And I'm just mentioning yep. it there. And again, friends, when your babies have birthdays, share the love. I mean, they're not only your babies; they're pet pigs babies nowadays, right? Yeah, you are. know. But happy birthday to to your girl. Thank uh, you. You know, she's just so cute. You know, Thanks. all of them, they're cute. We love them. So thank you so much, friends, uh, for uh, spending uh, a little time with us. For those of you who are watching the replay, please leave a comment. We'll make sure that we check it out and we respond. Next week, uh, we are back to normal schedule every Tuesday at 3.30 p.m., 12.30 uh, p.m. Easter time, Pacific time. Uh, <laughs> and that's it. I'm going to, uh, the people who are part of the membership, Paparazzi Mastermind, I'm going to see you in a little bit. We are jump, I'm jumping there uh, in a second. Uh, and uh, Lightroom class details, they will be tomorrow. Uh, I just have to finish the last couple of things. Uh, and I'm creating like uh, special shortcut guides and et cetera, and et cetera. Other goodies you're going to need to become pro in Lightroom. Uh, and thank you so much to my amazing ladies. Thank you. Uh, for being with me. We just, I don't know. I cannot thank you enough. I mean, you're just no. awesome. Um, and thank you, friends. Keep up the good work. Keep up posting pictures. Uh, keep inviting yes. your friends. Uh, and I'm going to create this Valentine mini training for you. Uh, and I'm going to share the link for whoever wants to get it. You know, you just go and download it and watch it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Bye, everyone. See you Bye. soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.